How's it going, everyone? Jerry's here with some more Empires, and we're going to be doing a voting video today where you guys get to vote on who I play next on my next playthrough. So, voting's going to be a little different this time, guys. Um, I'm going to try out Straw Poll. Uh, stick around. A little later, I will explain how this is going to go down. So, for now, let's just get started. We've got Suma Sasha, the queen of the iron nipple technique. She will pierce your eyes out with those pointy things and you will suffer many deaths. And we have Genbu of the East. He's an assassin, just how he looks. I don't know if he's assassin-y enough. Zhuge Ling, lovely young lady. And she's got a brand new moveset, guys. You gotta keep that in mind, these brand new movesets, we gotta check them out. We gotta see them. Uh, we got Jers. I don't know who this guy is, but he seems kind of cool and he's got a nice weapon. I never gave him uh, wristbands or anything. I guess he looks fine without it. We've got Masha Mune. He's all green and stuff. He's like happy. He's like, yeah, let's stab something. Now we've got Kazeguchi Jinto. Bum bum bum. The flame blade of death. Next up, Dongreina. Guaranteed to shoot you with an arrow right in the boob. Maybe not the boob, but it'll shoot you nonetheless. There's some side boob action right there for you perverts watching the video. Kazeguchi Yomi. The ultimate fist pumper or fist bumper. Whatever, I would not want to fist bump this guy. He'll probably break my fist. Look at these things. Put a hole through my whole arm. Lunala. Yes, yes. Do not let the attractiveness fool you. She will put a wire through your body and she'll pull it really hard. Kazeguchi Soto. What a nice guy. Look at all these tattoos. Sayuki. Washing Dune. The Spear of the... I don't know, he's a badass though. I was hoping to get him to look more like Hwok Xiong, but I, uh, I failed. I might have to redesign him in the future. Shenrong. Guaranteed to throw soldiers at you. Kind of funny, I like this moveset though. Kenshiro, the successor of Hokuto Shinken. If you've ever watched this is North Star, Sakio of the North. Zaza of the South. She's all about business, boys. Cut your weenie off with these hooks. Mushra of the West. <laughs> Look at this rose. Bougie, the homeless strategist. He likes animals too. Hmm, Sherman. He's a guy that works on carpets. And honestly, I have no idea what this guy is all about, but he's just whatever. Batosai the Manslayer has made a return because they have better hair and they have the scar that I wanted. So if you guys are never heard of this guy, check out Roni Kenshin or check out Samurai X. You should be able to find a bunch of videos on YouTube. Next up, Pibu, the Jester of the Dark Ages. My name's Pibu. <laughs> Debbie. Let me tell you guys, she's got extremely large fans. Look at these things. They're nuts. Fasha. She's actually a mystic I created for the future. The Kazuguchi story is not done yet, but this is a spoiler, I suppose. Fasha. I've made three mystics, 
Chuan Chao is another. I'm trying to use new move sets or ones that I have not used previously. So, I don't know how I feel about this weapon. <laughs> uh, Yokosama, my final mystic. Small but deadly. I assure you. The sword and hook is no joke, my friends. We've caught many fish with this blade. Hokuto Tsun. He may look familiar. He may look like Hokuto Jers, but that's because he is, in fact, Hokuto Jers, and I just changed his name because I had a butt ton of Jers characters in Seven Empires and Eight Empires. I want to make different characters. So Hokuto Tsun looks a little different too. I did mess with the colors a little bit. I like this design a bit better. Kaska from the Band of the Hawk. They have better weapons, like a rapier, but I hate those movesets, so I went with the Tsao Tsao weapon, which is going to work fine for her. If you guys know who she's, uh, where she's from, let me know in the comments section what you guys think. If you can make a better design, let me know, because I would love to make her look better. Okay? Next up. Zero. If you're wondering what RG means, Royal Guard, I've, I'm developing a new kingdom. I've already got a good portion of them done. Got to make some more, some, uh, some, I guess, some foes. So let's get started with Zero. This is Royal Guardman uh, Zero. Fights like Guan Yu. He's a beast. All the Royal Guard look the same. They just have different names, different voices, uh, different move sets, and that's gonna be it for the Royal Guard. So here's Zero, Royal Guard Jaeger. And I have not named their kingdom yet. I don't know what I'm going to name them. Well, guard Xerxes. Well, guard Wahid. The Prince. Otherwise known as Lord Abaddon. This is who the Royal Guard defend with their lives. Royal Guard are extremely loyal, guys. So this is who they defend. He's a bit of a hothead, though. His mother, Lord Abaddon's mother, Lily too. Yes, I have a thing for blondes. Man, look at the size of that sword. It's freaking huge, man. The king, King Astroth. Lord Abaddon's father. And Lily Tu's husband. And we have Vapul. PG means personal guard. These are the personal guardsmen for the king and queen. They're the best warriors in their country. So here we have personal guard Vapul. They're much stronger than the royal guardsmen are in every aspect. Their armor may not look all that cool, but they're they're definitely the best. And he actually if you guys ever seen Berserk, he could also pass as a Griffith. That helmet is perfect for a Griffith. And this armor could maybe work as well since Griffith wore white. So I was debating, should I make this guy Griffith? And then I was like, nah, Vapul is good. And we also have personal guard, last but not least, personal guard Kaliva. And she will be fighting as Guan Yin Ping. So guys, that's going to be it for the voting for, uh, for the characters. All you guys got to do is check in the description. I have a straw poll there. Um, I tried to get every single name that I could possibly, but some of them you're going to have to actually comment their names. Like, uh, let's say you do Royal Guards. If you vote them, vote. W you have to type in the comments which Royal Guard it is. If uh, whatever reason you don't like commenting, uh, you can send me a message. You can tweet at me. Whichever works for you if you vote for like a Royal Guard or a Personal Guard or a Kazaguchi. I tried to... Because the straw poll can only handle 30 names, so I tried to fit it. You'll see, it'll be in the description. So that's how I'm going to handle the voting for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, try not to vote in the comment section, because chances are I may ignore those. I'm going to go strictly by the straw poll this time, unless you are voting for one of the people that I say specify in the comments. Alrighty? So thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. I'm going to wait till Sunday possibly and then by then i will decide who are we going to play next so until then stay classy